Welcome back, guys, to our Pokemon Black playthrough. Today, I've actually decided that we are going to go in a very different direction. So here we are in Icarus City. Oh, man, I really wish I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, and I was thinking, okay, we can either go towards Dragon Spiral uh, Tower, or we can try to go and challenge the gym. But I've decided to ignore both of those opportunities for now. And what we're going to do instead is we're going to backtrack. It occurred to me that uh, since we got out of Twist Mountain and we received the HM for Surf from Alder, that we now have some places that were previously inaccessible. So let's take a look. We should go to Mistralton Cave, I believe. Let's see, Drift Vale, Mistralton. I think that's the right way to go. Um, so what I want to do today is I'm going to use Surf, uh, Strength, and my team to help me get Cabalion. Now the reason for this is because I wanted to go to Mistralton Cave anyway, as Mistralton Cave has a Dusk Stone, which I can use to evolve uh, my Lampent into Chandelure. I just gotta remember how to get there. I think this is the right way. Let's see. Okay, Route 6. This is the right way. Let's go ahead and pop in our bag. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Max Repel. Okay. Avoid all this nonsense. I don't think there's any trainers that are gonna get in our way. I just gotta remember exactly how to get there from this path. Nope, it's not up there. Let me think. Hmm, <laughs> I think this takes us to the next town if I go down this way, right? Or... hold on. Water Blue? Yeah, let's take a look and just see what happens. I gotta remember exactly how to get to this spot. Nope, that's not... oh, well. This might be the way that I want to go. This might be it. Is this Mr. Alton Cave? Yes. What is that? Lo what are the lines all across? That's weird. Huh. Let me think for a second. Hmm. I don't remember seeing lines like that. Is that some sort of visual issue? Or what is the deal? I wonder... Let me see real quickly. I know I have the TM for Flash. And I wonder if this is some sort of visual effect that's happening right now. I don't actually remember seeing this. Let me see. I wonder if it's just a, an issue with the game. I don't know. I don't know what that is, actually. Lampant can learn it. Substreaker can learn it. What does he know? Substreaker has Stomp, which is good. Thunder, Discharge, and Shockwave. Cannot be evaded. A flip of crazy uses as cause paralysis. Discharge. 80. 60. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Well, I feel like I'm gonna regret losing Stomp, because it's a pretty decent attack. And eh, whatever, we'll ignore it. We'll just deal with it. I don't know what that visual thing is, but uh, we'll get over it. No! Yes. Okay. So we've got a Pokemon that knows Strength. I taught it to my Gigalith. Let's see now. I believe I can push it from here. There we go. Okay, push this. And I think I can push it down into there, right? Perfect. Okay. Now we need all these that I can that I can use. Nope. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and fight this guy. My favorite things are mountains, meals, and Pokemon. And fun battles! Challenged by Hiker Hugh. I just want to give Lampin a little bit more action. Hopefully we can get what we need to evolve him so I can get some decent uh, overall stats out of him. Good job, buddy. I just figure since I have level advantage over everybody, then I should be good. I did some grinding in that marshy area just outside Icarus. That, let me tell you, that's that's not easy. Surprisingly, the water Pokemon there, even when you're high enough level over them, is actually really tough. I really don't know what that visual thing is. I'm going to get out of this cave and go back in and see if it still shows up. 
I've never seen that before, and I feel like that's wrong. But I don't know why. I don't know what this is. Oh, interesting. That stone is, is moved there. Okay, whatever. Get in there, giggle loop. Okay, and I remember there was a, a note here. Okay. So I got some notes on where some items are because I want to find that dusk stone. I was looking it up to see where I can find it, and it should be somewhere. That, hmm? that might be it. I'm chasing my dream, and I'm fighting for a victory. Clarky. Hello, Clarky. Again, makes me laugh every time you see someone with a bulldog. Boldor and Girder. The game is almost really true in that the in-game trainers have to also trade to get those fully evolved Pokemon as well, but they just don't they just don't have them. I think there might be some gym leaders that have some of the Pokemon that require trade evolution. And please be what I want. I really hope that's the Dusk Stone over the top right. There's I I read that you can actually buy Dusk Stones um, as well. I don't remember where, but somewhere. I can't catch that dream. I'm, I'm not 100% positive. Ah, uh, Max Repel, son of a bee. It's okay. We'll just keep looking around. Hyper Potion. Eh. I got hyped that that was going to be the Dusk Stone. Let me think. Oh, you know what? Okay, so based on what I'm seeing, so I'm looking at Bulbapedia for all the item locations. So the Dusk Stone is actually in the Guidance Chamber. So it's not in this part of the map. Okay, let's see. Just gonna push him all the stones there. I think I think there's like a visual issue right now with the game somehow. Because I think this is supposed to be like really like if I had to guess, this visual issue that you're seeing on the screen right now is supposed to be like the darkness in the game. And then this little circle around us is supposed to be like what you can see with flash. But since I didn't use flash, I don't know why it's doing that though. That's super hot. I didn't make any changes to the game to allow it to do that, so that seems very strange. Oh, there's some stairs. Let's go up there. Yeah, I'm not sure. Heck no! Not dealing with this. All I want is my Chandelure and Cabalion. Is it Cabalion or Cobalion? I don't... This thing, man, I don't... I've never heard anyone else say the Pokemon names, like, consistently the same way I do, so I just get concerned that I'm saying them wrong. The cities, the Pokemon names, like, everything. Every time I see a little rock like this, I gotta check it just to see if it's, uh, an item. Oh, here we go. Oh, well. That, yeah, that flash thing is really annoying. An Ultra Ball. Okay. Yeah, I gotta test it. I gotta figure it out. I have to know if that's what I think it is. Okay, let's see. So, flash, use... So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to teach Flash to Lampent. And I'm probably wondering why. Well, so Lampent knows Fire Blast now. Oh, the PP up. Dang it. I'm going to lose that. Whatever. But I have the, the TM for that, and I can just reuse it. I just lost one effective move for that. That's really annoying. But such is life. I do want to see if this works. I feel like it might. So let's find out if this is what I think. Interesting. So that is what that is. So those lines indicate something is going on with my game where it's like another hyper potion. Where it's Yeah. It's a flash effect. Weird. Super weird. I wonder why that is. I don't know. I think sometimes it's gonna be items. A rock gem. Okay, cool. Sometimes they're Pokemon, sometimes they're items. Plenty of match repels. A hard stone. Getting every freaking stone. Except the one I want. Okay, that might be the guidance chamber there. Man, I feel like I'm just eating through these, huh? The, uh, max repels. I sold a whole bunch of, like, items that I don't really use that consistently just so I can get some extra money and buy more max repels. Inventory is surprisingly low now because of that. That big rock looks sus. I've never found a big thing next to a 
or an, an item is near a big rock before, though. Rock slide, cool. Actually, yeah, you can get rock slide here, but I thought you can you actually find an HM like in the grass. I can't remember where, but I was reading about that too. Hey, an iron, very nice. probably sell that instead rather get the money guidance chamber okay so it said it's up in the northeast that must be it hey an ultra ball very cool come on baby that's what I'm talking about awesome okay so let's go and use my dusk stone and finally get my chandelier Yeah, now I get some good stats. I love Chandelure's design. I like Litwick, I love Lampent. Lampent actually is, I don't know, something about it is just really clever. Sweet. All right, Lampent involved into Chandelure. Very cool. Sweet, stoked about that. And I think, didn't he take a beating? A little bit. Oh, his HP didn't go up. I thought that it would. Or did it? I don't know. That's what I get for not paying attention. Okay, so we got that. This guy's gotta be a trainer, right? Or is he just gonna... Oh, wait a minute. I saw your skill, it's impressive for one so young. Maybe you're the one. Hmm, it may be possible. How about it? Will you listen to an old man's story? Yes. In the distant past, when Pokemon and people lived in different worlds, a war between people started an intense fire in a forest where many Pokemon lived. The Pokemon were surrounded by smoke and flames. They were in big trouble. And then, the legends Cabalion, Terrakion, and Verizion appeared. <laughs> Verizon. It's like Verizon Sprint and T-Mobile. Terrakion used its amazing strength to destroy rocks Blocking the escape route. Verizion used its quick movements to protect Pokemon from looming flames, and Gobalion led the frightened Pokemon out of the burning woods. The people who started the war were routed by the power of the legends. Because of Gobalion, Terrakion, and Verizion, the war was ended. When people fight, there's no peace for Pokemon either. The three legends learned that the deeds of humans could lead to dire consequences for their world. They cut themselves off from people and disappeared. No one saw much of them after that, and the three faded into myth. I've been searching for them for decades, and I finally figured out that one of them was deep in this cave. But the legendary three do not trust people. If people approach, they bear their fangs and attack. It can't be helped, because they only know the old world. They still don't know the world has become a place where people in Pokemon try to understand and help each other. You seem like you might be able to show them that Pokemon and people can trust each other and live together. If they take another look at people, I think they will stop hiding from us. It's not just about bonds between people and Pokemon. Having all living things appreciate and trust each other would be best. Okay, cool. Also, I can't forget. So now, uh, I should be able to... Bring back... Nope. Fire Blast. Angry or Flash. It's nice because you can, like, swap moves on the fly, which I find very, very cool. Wait. Oh, that was 6 out of 20. Why did it do that? Oh. That's annoying. Because I had 6 out of 6 for, uh, power points? That's why. That's really dumb. And now it's at 5 out of 5 because it brought it back down. So if I replace that with a move... That is 15 to be 5 out of 15. That is stupid. I never... I Is that... That seems weird to me. That seems like it's not right. Seems like that's... I must have bugged something in the game somehow. That's weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Now, I figure... If there's anything weird happening in the game, it's got to be related to the randomizer that I instilled in the game. Um, allowing me to evolve trade evolution Pokemon. Oh, there's Cobalion right there. I plan on catching it. You best believe it. He's chilling. Throw candy. Very cool. 
This looks it's just right here in this corner. Okay. Always check. Oh, we can get him right now. Okay, let's grab this item first, then we'll get Cabalion, and then we will... What is this? A revive. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need it. And then, uh, we'll escape rope out of here. Because I don't think there's anything else that I care about. There's Carbos for Candy, Duskstone, Ultra Ball, Revive, PP, uh, Parts, Stone, Hyper Ball, Ultra Ball, Rock Slide, Max Repeller, but... Yeah, so I don't really care. I don't really need anything. I, all I really wanted was what I got. Weird how close I can get to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and save it. And what type is Cabalion, actually? I don't know what his element is. So I've got the Bulbapedia right here just to kind of show me about that. What is it? He's a dual steel and fighting type. He's cool. He's at level 42, but he doesn't really strike me as a Pokemon that I need in my party, so... Alright, let's see what we can do here. Our first legendary encounter. Alright, let's just go ahead and see what we can do. None of my Pokemon are too high up in terms of level, so I don't think that he's going to take a lot of damage from our moves. We'll just Nightshade him a few times and then just Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball. I could be able to hit him with this one more time, I think. And then it should put in the red. Ooh, perfect. Bag it up, son. Give me some of them Pokeballs. Okay, Quick Ball, Dust Ball, Heal Ball, Timer Ball. We're just going to use Ultra Ball. It won't catch right away. Up and B, baby! Oh, I was going to say, that would have been wild. I have never captured a... Uh... Wow, Chandelure is baller against Cabalion. But I've never, I've never captured a, a legendary Pokemon so fast. But yeah, Chandelure's doing pretty well against Cabalion. His moves just don't affect him as a ghost, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, I figured as much. I didn't say up and B, so it didn't work. Alright, this Pokemon's dumb. Helping hand. And up and B. Yeah, figures, you son of a... I don't think I have any moves um, to paralyze or sleep either, which is... That's on me. Up and B. Come on. Two. Ah, oh, you son of a... That's alright. We got plenty of Ultra Balls. And some other balls on top of that. If I can use... Oh, wow. Iron Head. No! He's dead. I knew that was going to happen. Nope. Damn. Okay. Nope, we got to quit. Up the rock wall and a spirit somewhere in the cave. He comes back. But I'm going to go ahead and load my save. The strength you exhibited communicating with your Pokemon also got through to Cabalion. If you and your Pokemon train together and get even stronger, we'll probably return to this place. The fact that you battled Cabalion and related to each other should be easily communicated to Rakion and Verizian because of the close bond between the three. I'm sure they will also give you a chance to prove your worth. The obstacles that separated Terrakion and Verizian from people are probably gone now. Whether you want to search for those two is up to you, but they are definitely waiting for you. Nope, we're going to go ahead and load that. That's annoying. Uh, how do I actually quit? Okay, well, whatever. We're just going to go ahead and quit and reload that. And then uh, that's all we're going to do. So annoying. That's what I get. So what I get for being too good of a trainer. I got lucky that Cabalion wasn't hitting me with multiple attacks. I was worried about that. I was worried that I was going to end up burning him. Oh no. Oops, I don't want to launch that. I hate the... Oh, I don't. No, whatever. Who cares? Okay. Take two. Night shoot him a couple times, and I need to switch to another Pokemon that won't do damage. I think. Uh... Caracasso would be a good choice. Nightshade him three times. And then it's just Ultra Balls all day. Fight, Nightshade one. I can't let him get burned. Nightshade two. Don't get burned. 
Ah, oh, you son of a... Okay, I don't have a lot of time. Well, he's burned now. Okay, he's only got a couple of rounds to be able to get that. Um, and why couldn't I have been Master Ball? I had a... I had a... Up a beat. I had a good chance last time to catch him. But yeah, this is going to be tough. He might be able to withstand one more turn after this, but I have a feeling we're going to be have to do this again. Up and B. Come on, Cabalion. Just take it, man. One, two, three. Come on. Oh, you son of a... You moron. Now I'm not going to have to... Oh, I got to start over again. Burn and KO'd. Damn. Ugh, every time. Okay. That's so frustrating. Okay, we're just going to switch, I think, from the get-go. I just don't want to risk that again. I think, uh, yeah. Karakas has got some pretty good defense, so I'm not too worried about taking damage or anything. I just, I guess I was just thinking to myself, you know what? Chandelure is tough and doesn't take a lot of damage um, from Kabalian. But now we know that's not going to fly because he gets burned every time he hits us. All right, Karakasta. Let's see what you can do. Now, I've been told that fighting type Pokemon, again, Cobalion is a uh, fighting steel type. Fighting type is weak to flying type Pokemon, which I did not know. Um, and as a steel type, I think they're also weak to, holy crap, uh, weak to fire? But I don't actually know. Okay, he might actually knock out Cobalion. Or, uh, sorry, he might knock out... Yeah. There it is. Okay, get in the red. Oh my lord! Okay. Uh, who do we have that's not gonna take a lot of damage? Okay. We're gonna swap out Rog and Rolla. Or, so, sorry, what? Roman Rolla. Not swap out, swap in. Sorry, I'm so focused on the battle I can't even, like, concentrate. Do not take damage, you idiot. That was ridiculous. Uh, yeah. Hyper Posh. Arcosta, yeah. Because it looks like Roman is going to go KO'd. I didn't even do anything to you. What's your problem? Oh, wonderful. Okay, let's go bag. Let's reevaluate the balls that we have. Heal, Timer, Net, Ultra, Quick. Okay, great, and Premier. Uh... I don't know. Whatever. I'm just going to throw a ball and see how it works. Up and B. You know, I heard a fun, interesting fact that there are traders, Pokemon traders out there, that look for Pokemon with, like, legendary Pokemon that have been captured in certain Pokeballs. Apparently, and I don't know which ones, but say if I caught Cabalion with, like, a Master Ball versus, like, a Pokeball, because the Pokeball is harder um, to catch him with, it's more valuable, and so people online will actually pay real money, IRL, to trade Pokemon like Legendary Cabalion, for example, in a more rare Pokeball. Which I find to be really fascinating. I don't even know why people would care about that, but they do, for some reason. Um, let's actually heal up my Gigalith. I don't really... Uh, nope, wrong one. Now, if you've seen any of my other Pokemon videos on Legendaries, I typically don't waste a lot of time in capturing it, because I usually have a Master Ball by the time I encounter Legendary Pokemon, usually. Not always. Um, anything that's, like, equivalent to Legendary Birds, um, or the Legendary Dog or something like that, I can usually use it with the balls and stuff. But I think I've been lucky more recently that I've spent a lot of time catching Legendary Pokemon, um like, event-type Pokemon. I can't remember the last time I was playing a Pokemon game and I caught a Legendary this early. But one... Ugh. I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud. And the reason why I say that is because usually when I am going to catch a Legendary or a Mythic Pokemon of some sort, I don't record the entire encounter like this time. This is one of the first times I think I can remember encountering a Legendary Pokemon and recording the entire attempt to capture it and struggling at that. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. 
it's hard to watch. Come on, up and B. This is just RNG being a fickle bastard, honestly. Come on. I know, I know, I know. If I had a status healing, or status, like, uh, sleep or paralysis, that would have been nice. But I don't. So, we are playing the hand that we were dealt. Typically. This is actually the hand that I dealt myself. Up and beat. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. One shake. Oh, come on. Give me a little more than that. Don't use... Okay. Iron Head might hurt a little bit. Actually, if I use a Zebstrika, couldn't you get paralyzed by smashing into him like that, too? We'll see. Up and beat. One. Two. Three. Oh, you... Mm, I would have... Oh, butt puckered on that one. I thought for sure I was going to get him. All right, fine. I'll use a Hyper Potion. Dang it. Eagle is struggling. I love when he uses attacks that don't do anything. Up and B. Come on, come on. One. Uh, good lord. Also, is it just me, or is this like the most easily accessible legendary in the history of legendaries? Come on. Ah, uh, I didn't... I didn't try hard with my up and B. Actually, you know what? No, I think uh, Zapdos might have been one of the easier... No. I don't know. Could you access Zapdos early on in the game just by going to the power plant in Kanto? Which, by the way, still stands as my favorite legendary encounter. I don't know what it is, but going around in the power plant and finding Zapdos chilling there was awesome. That was just a really cool experience. Maybe it's because I think it was like the first legendary Pokemon I ever encountered when I first jumped into red and blue, you know? I think for many it probably was, because you don't get Moltres until you go on, uh, God, what is it? Victory Road. And Articuno is over in, uh, yeah, what is it? The Foam Islands or something like that? I can't remember. The islands that's over by, uh, Cinnabar. Somewhere in there. Whatever. Oh, I thought I hit the wrong thing. Um, let's go ahead and do Zebstrika. Now, if he can be paralyzed, that'd be sweet. Up and B. Come on, baby. Get in there. Ah, you filthy. That's not bad. Especially since we're under level compared. So I'm good. Two below. Up and B. Yeah, also, what's up with uh, 42? That's a very peculiar, specific number. Come on, Kobe. Kobe Beef. Kobe Bryant. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Up and B. One, two, three. Yes! I thought for sure it was going to break out. Thank you, God. Very cool. Cobalion. This legendary Pokemon battle against humans protect Pokemon. Its personality is calm and composed. Steal and fight. Iron will Pokemon. Uh... No. I... If, if, a, if a color name isn't popping in my head right away, I don't care. <laughs> There we go. What's the old man going to say now? It seems that thanks to you, Cabalion has sensed a change in the world. It's a world where people in Pokemon help each other and live together. I believe Cabalion wants to remain with you and travel by your side. The fact that you battled Cabalion and you related to each other should be easily communicated to Terrakion and Verizian because of the close bond between the three. I'm sure they will also give you a chance to prove your worth. The obstacles that separated Terrakion and Verizian from people are probably gone now. Whether you want to search for those two is up to you, but they are definitely waiting for you. I don't think they're in here, though. Do they? Hmm. 
I guess we'll have to wait and see. Let's get a escape rope and get the crap out of here. Where are you, Mr. Escape Rope? Where you be? Where you be? There we are. I only have two. I like how I can be anywhere in here and then, like, spin in circles, and that's how you use an escape rope. Thank God. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Well, we do have some other places to go, but we'll have to worry about that next time. For now, I think what we're going to do is we are going to go fly to the first town that I see. Nope, wrong button. And heal up first and foremost, because we are in rough shape. Well, Roman Roll is. Here we go. We'll go back to Driftvale, heal up, and I think that'll be it for this particular episode in the adventure of our Pokemon Black playthrough. Hopefully this was helpful to you in some way. Uh, I mean, maybe that wasn't the smoothest catch process for Cabalion, but at least you know how to get through uh, that particular set of caverns to get to it. But nonetheless, thank you guys for watching this episode. Before you go, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any feedback for me, leave it in the comments section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, I will see you next time when we continue on with the playthrough right here on the Mark and I channel. New episodes debut daily at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, guys, take care, be well, and I'll see you next time when we continue on our playthrough of Pokemon Black. Later.